Well, besides calling 911, do you know how to help someone who's having a heart attack? Most happen outside of hospitals, and it can take some time for first responders to get to you, especially if you live in a minority community. It is good to know there are people hoping to change that. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean has more from a local woman who's trying to make a difference. When he got to the hospital, he actually did um, what's called code. His heart stopped. They had to shock him. Um, so it was a big ordeal. Tamisha Good is talking about her fiance having a major heart attack at work in 2019. He's okay now, but that experience changed their lives and her career. Okay, this hand here, I'm gonna put on the bottom of the mat. So when I was deciding to start my own business, I just was like, this is, this is what I have to do. But for Tamisha, it's not about simply teaching CPR. It's about who she teaches it to. I do have a special focus, I guess, on providing um, the education and the training to um, communities that look and sound like me. Recent research shows that 75 to 80 percent of cardiac arrests happen outside of the hospital. And of those, less than 46 percent will get bystander CPR. Of that 46 percent, um, research shows that minority women are at the very bottom of the totem pole to receive help. Tamisha's classes are open to anyone and everyone, and she's hoping some of these students could be learning something that could mean the difference between life and death for someone. I just feel like it's important for my community to be trained and know how to do it because I feel like there's a strong possibility that if it were to happen to somebody that you know about or you care about, you may have to act. 